सो वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी सो एज यू ऑल नो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेसन वी वर डन विद द नॉन कॉर्डेट्स सो टूडे वील बी स्टार्टिंग विद द लार्जेस्ट फाइलम इन टर्म ऑफ नोइंग यू नो यू नीड टू नो मच मोर देन दिस फाइलम दैन एनी अदर फाइलम इट्स द कॉर्डेट्स सो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू कॉर्डेट्स सो इट्स प्रेजेंटेड बाई मी as you all know iftikhar khan and you can follow me at uh, www.anacademy.in/user/iftikhar khan so let's dive right into it so as you know the the phylum core data the name is because of the presence of a structure called notochord so all the members of the phylum chordata have a notochord the largest uh, vertebrate is the blue whale while the smallest one is the philippine gobi so just remember the names as mcqs some of the state exams might ask this Oh, so they are basically having some distinct characteristic which were not present in the previous phylas, which are the presence of a notochord, dorsal tubular hollow nerve cord, and the presence of pharyngeal gill slits. So I'll talk about them one by one. So let me start with the notochord. So the notochord. as i've told you before is a mesodermally derived structure which distinguishes the chordates from the non chordates so basically uh, this notochord is a uh, dorsally present on the cut section it's present dorsally to the alimentary canal and while it's ventral to the nerve cord uh in some of the in some um, some classes or some super classes of the chordate phylum it might persist throughout life while in vertebrates it is replaced by vertebrate then we have a dorsal tubular hollow nerve cord so it's present just above the notochord that is dorsal to the notochord and it remains entirely outside the cilium it is tubular uh, with a small hollow canal running from one end to the other as i told you it's a hollow structure while in non chordates it's a solid structure and it is ventral so about it that it persists in all the chordates throughout life then we have the gill slits or more specifically the pharyngeal gill slits so they are basically paired lateral clefts which are present near the pharynx uh to the exterior which lead from the pharynx to the exterior so uh, their fate depends on the class we are talking about so in fishes and a few tailed amphibians they exist uh, throughout their life in amphibians like frogs and toads it's present only in their larval stages while in higher vertebrates they are embryonic and they are non functional then we uh, talk about further other class other the characteristic features we have ventral heart the heart in this case is chambered and it's present ventrally to the alimentary canal they also have a closed blood vascular system in most of the cases uh the characteristic few of the specific characteristic presence are hepatic portal system so what does this hepatic portal system do hepatic refers to liver and the portal system is because it transfers blood a uh, food laden blood from the digestive tract uh, through a capillary system to the liver before it reaches the heart so uh, the vein originates from the digestive system at capillaries 
and it again ends in the capillaries in the liver uh, before it goes to the heart so that is the characteristic one of the characteristic feature of the chordates it helps in the removal of toxin and absorption of the nutrients by the liver so this is a short introduction of uh, you know the chordates in the next lesson we'll talk about the classification and some of the phyla some of the earlier phyla of the phylum some of the earlier subphyla of the phylum chordata so thanks guys thanks again for watching have a great day